Hello, hello, and welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining me again. If you're new, my name is Karina. And for this video, I'll be showing you two DIYs that I created. One is this candle holder made out of modeling clay. And the second project is some wall art made out of spackle. So if you like DIYs or you just wanna see how I created this, stick around and let's get started. First, we'll start off with the supplies I use for the candle holder, starting with the modeling clay, the DAS modeling clay. I really liked it. I've used it in the past. And then I have some tools. You really don't need much, just something to cut your clay with. And we'll need some water to help us manage that clay. The following items are just materials that I used or items to help me get that shape that I want for my candle holder but you'll see through the video that I actually did not end up using those because it wasn't working except for that bottle of paint. But other than that, I didn't use any of the other stuff. Um, but here, as you can see, I'm just taking my modeling clay out of the packaging. Quick note, this modeling clay has been stored for quite a while and surprisingly is still very good. So highly, highly recommended as long as you store it in a, um, in a bag, it should still work for you. So here I'm just basically stretching um, my modeling clay as much as I can. Now quick tip, and obviously I learned this through the video and after doing my DIY, you want to make sure that you roll it, but not too thin, but not too thick in between. And here your girl probably needs to invest in a roller because I don't have one and I've been wanting to buy one and I just forget. But anyways, we go with the flow, and once you're a Girl Scout, you're always a Girl Scout, and they used to tell me, use your resources wisely, so I'm using my resources wisely. Anyways, so I'm taking some water. Another tip, you do not want to put too much water on your clay. If you put too much water, then it just, it's a hot mess. So here I'm just putting a little bit of the water to help me stretch it, and then I'm just cutting the excess um, modeling clay that I won't be using. Now, I wish I actually had more modeling clay to stretch it more so my candle holder could have been longer, but um, this is what I had and this is what I had to work with, so we made it work. And I did realize towards the end, well, one, once it was already dry, that it was way too thin from some areas, especially from the ends, and I wish I would have not made it as thin. The middle part was perfect, um, but, um, both of the ends were too, too thin for me, uh, or at least for what I wanted to accomplish. And I'll tell you why as we go through the video. But here, I'm just taking the water again. The water helps you smooth any um, lines or anything. Then you take your bottles, and here's where you're supposed to start shaping it. And then I realized because my modeling clay was not long enough, that bottle wasn't going to work. So I took a little small wine bottle, and then this other smaller candle holders, which didn't work either. It was still too big or almost the same size of that wine bottle. So I decided to just go ahead and take my uh, paint bottle and use that. And that worked perfectly because I had many bottles of paint. So I figured I would just use those. And that was the perfect shape. Again, if I could go back, i will probably stretch it more or add more clay so that the thickness is the same as the one in the middle, but it's also longer. As you can see the two side bottles, it's not as thick as it should have been. Then I just took my candle and started making that shape of um, where the candles are gonna go. And I actually, as you can see, I also added in the middle some or on the sides of the middle, some holes, but I realized that I didn't like that. So I went in with some water and just try to smooth that out. And because my ends were not deep or thick enough, I knew the candles were not going to stay in. So what I ended improvising is taking my tools and remove some of that modeling clay from the middle of the holes. This had to be done because of the thickness of my clay. It wasn't thick enough. So I knew that if I didn't do this, there was no way the candles on the side were going to stay. The middle was fine, but just so it could be cohesive, I had to do that. Then once I was done doing that, I left my clay out to dry. I only left it to dry for 24 hours for the purpose of this video so I can finish it. But ideally, you want to leave it out for almost two days or longer if you can. So you can see mine is still wet. But again, for the purpose of the video, 
I had to move along. But once it's dry completely, you can actually sand it. I did not sand this piece, uh, but you would want to take a, uh, something, a file or whatever you want to use to sand your modeling clay so it looks nice and smooth and super professional. But I was going to leave it like this, but then it wasn't the vibe, so I decided to take some gold paint and just paint, paint away. It's your piece. Paint it, don't paint it, do whatever you want. Another tip, you could also take some gloss uh, spray paint, which helps it not only protect it from anything, but also give it that glossy look. I personally like the matte look, so I kept it that way. Once I was done painting, I left it to dry completely before I, I tried my candles on the actual holder and I'll show you at the end how it looks. Now that I've allowed my modeling clay and my paint to dry, I can add my candles. I decided to use some red candles to go with that Valentine's Day theme decor since it's coming up. And I really liked how it looks. I'll show you a full video towards the end. But uh, moving along with the next project, which is a wall art made out of spackle. So the main character is your spackle. You need some spackle. Um, then you'll need some canvases. I actually use some canvases I had from years ago from the dollar store that I'm not using. So I figure use your resources wisely again, Karina. So that's what I did. Then I used this kit, hair kit, actually, because for the texture that I wanted for my art, but I didn't like it towards the end. So you'll see what I ended up doing and what tool I actually used. Then I just wanted to take some beads or whatever I had left in my craft box to just make it more fun. So this is my first time using spackle and it's actually very fun. I took a small little tub, I didn't need a lot because my canvases were small, but depending on the size of your canvas, obviously you'll probably need more. I ended up using the entire little tub for both of my canvases. You just mix and mix it and then slap it on your canvas. Literally that's all you do and work with it. Now quick tip, don't overdo it. Um, because if it's too thick, then you run into the cases, the case, sorry, of this uh, spackle crackling on you. Almost the same as the modeling clay. If it's way too thin, it'll probably crack on you. If it's way too thick, it'll definitely crack on you. So you want to have that middle ground. Then here's where I started using that comb to try to figure like what kind of shape or texture I wanted for my frame. As you can see some areas I had to add more spackle because it was way too thin. So finding that middle ground is what I'm doing here. And then again going in with my tools to see what type of texture I wanted to give it. I didn't like the comb. I didn't like the brush. So that was a fail. And at the end the best tool were my crooked fingers. <laughs> I really like that texture it gave it, that shape. It just looked really cool. And I wish you could really see it, but because it's pink, you can't really tell. Which, by the way, this spackle dries white, which is cool once it's all dry. And here I decided that for this one, I wanted to take some pearls and just add them all over the canvas. And once it's dry, uh, you'll see how cool it looks. I really, really liked it. I actually plan on doing a bigger one with just a lot, a lot, a lot of pearls. I really like that vibe. And then here, I'm going to do exactly the same thing for my second frame. And again, I ended up using my fingers because it just looked better. I really like the shape and um, yeah, the texture overall that it was giving and I try to use, the, I wasn't giving up on the comb, but just doing the corners. But again, I didn't like it. So I, at the end of the day, I ended up using the best tools, my hands, my crooked fingers. For the second one, I knew that I wanted to incorporate color. So I took some of the gems that I had, different sizes, different colors, and just started adding them to the Canva. 
It doesn't have to be perfect. And that's what I loved about DIYs and crafting for me, at least not only is it therapeutic, but also an opportunity for me to have fun. As a reminder, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's about trying. It's about having fun. That's the best part for me. Like this is my first time doing this and it wasn't perfect, but I had fun through the process and I know what to do for next time. Um, and this is the end result on my hands and the speckle. Uh, wall art it'll dry white as a reminder I don't know how long you're supposed to let it dry for but I let mine dry for 24 hours and it worked and then here's a quick shot of my assistant aka also known as Mona she doesn't help with anything but we still love her and then um, here's a final result once they were dry as you can see they're white and I'm giving you a close shot of the wall art because as you can see it does have some cracking and I feel it's because the spackle was too thick in that specific area and it also happened with the other one but it still looks cool. It gives a character and I really really liked it. And here's the final result of the candle holder with the candles on. I actually want to make now a sunglass holder with the same shape and now that I know what to do and what not to do. This is how the wall art looks on my actual office wall where I'm keeping them and I really like how that black allows them to stand out and you can see the gems and the pearls. It really came out nice. Uh, for my first time I think I did a decent job and it also inspired me to want to do more speckle art and maybe next time I go thrifting I'll look for a bigger canvas so I can do some wall art and yeah I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and that I inspire you to want to do some type of crafting DIYs whether it's some wall art whether it's a candle holder whatever it is just have fun in the process and use your imagination once again thanks for watching and make sure you follow me on social media and that you like and subscribe to my channel and hit that notification button so that you're notified when my next video goes up and until next time, bye!